So let me start this over. So everyone's on the same page, okay? Collecting gems throughout multiple ways. Number one, you can collect gems through bonds, okay? So when you go through here, the higher the level the bond of the character, the better the gem. So for example, SR characters will give you guys these gems here, okay? So you guys can collect these gems from SR characters. Now, if you go to an SSR character, let's find one here real quick. For example, this one, Lim. Lim will give you guys this one first, right? Which gives you an opportunity to get the white ones. And then also gives you guys at the end here, at level 80, will give you a blue. Okay, so I'm going to collect all my blues right now. And then we're going to show you guys how to use this the proper way because there's actually a system here that's a little messed up and if you screw up the system it will mess with your results as well so let's just get all these and we'll show you guys how this is this is done okay and how you need to do this so emma and alicia so we just got alicia so let's get this now it is going to be rng in terms of what you get from the blue ones clearly because there's th i believe three different kinds of gems that can be provided from each unit so let's go to a level Let's get this. Okay, so here's the gems. Gem again. Let's hope we have enough here. Now, obviously, you have enough tickets or you have enough time to... Do I have one here? Okay, we'll go back for these ones. So you'll, you'll have three, three attempts here a day to go to the Battlefield of Chaos and actually do a gem of your choice. You guys can see here, a couple of them will open up at different times. Every single gem color drops a certain gem. So for example, these ones will drop defense penetration, crit damage so these are high up ones precision etc right so those are those are going to be super important for dps output if you look at the blue ones they're a little bit more support so if we look at blue real quick you get mp consumption reduction you get yourself additional mana and you get yourself speed so again very very much a support gem is the purple ones we can't check green and blue until they pop up but we'll look at those later on so here's the thing the gem system is right down here so we'll click on it you get this giant field you want to make sure you complete this entire thing before you do any form of fusing. Okay, this is the important part. You have to finish this the entire way, all right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and start adding some of these in. So we'll go rank three, put this on. Now, if you unequip a color, if you unequip this, for any reason, you will lose this gem. Very important to note that, okay? Very, very, very important to note that. So do not put gems in just for the sake of putting gems in because you will lose the gem. All right, so I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and put the purple one in. I've got a few purples here, so we'll do speed. So I want speed here. Okay, and you guys can see here the warning, you cannot unequip gems when switching to a new gem. The equipped gem will disappear. So very, very important to remember that, okay guys? So we'll do a crit one. And then we'll go here and we'll do a blue one. Okay, pretty straightforward there. Good, good. I think we've unequipped everything. Uh, so I think that's all the colors. Do I need another one? Okay, hold on, what does it say here? Unlocks when you equip gems of all colors to the previous tier slots. We did that already. Why is it not unlocking? One, two, three, four, we did that already. What's going on? Hello? Do I get out? Go back in? Let's try this again. Go back in. Oh, is it bugged? There! Okay, it's bugged. Weird. So it is bugged. Back out, go back in. There you go. Weird. Weird how the system works. Okay. So another attack percentage in here. We'll do de additional defense here. Uh, we'll do additional, we'll do another speed here. You guys can see here, everyone is getting the bonus, right? All the units are getting the bonus. So all 30 hunters are benefiting from this. And that's the important thing to remember. All the hunters will benefit from this. So additional HP. So it's a pretty big increase in your power, which is fantastic because it will get you out of the red zone and back into getting yourself through progression a lot easier. Okay, back out. Again, it's loading. There we go. It's, it's weird. I think it's a little bug for that, but it is what it is. All right, more reds. <clears throat> so healing given increase. We'll do additional attack here because attacks is what's going to matter most. And then you can fuse later on. Defense percentage, perfect. Let's do that. Let's do defense or MP mana consumption reduction. 
crit damage. Increase that. So yeah, make sure you guys you completely, completely finish this. Okay, don't, don't. Uh, you got to finish the entire thing and then start fusing. Because if you start fusing, here's what happens: you're gonna run out of gems, which means you're not gonna be able to unlock the rest of the slots. Make sure you do that. Okay, do not fuse them and then run out. Because if you run out, then you can't do the rest. So it's very, very important, guys. You hold on to, don't, don't fuse until you complete it. Just go all the way across the board. I'll talk more about which gems are going to make the biggest impact. We can kind of see a little bit on, in terms of power where, the, where it lies. So, for example, this one here. Let's do attack percentage. See, it depends on the unit, right? You guys saw that. 107 for Sung. Everybody else got lower depending where they are on the list. Look at that. It all, it's so weird. It, it scales so differently for everybody. So it's going to be really difficult to tell which ones are affecting who more. And you'd imagine, like, this would be the same across the board, but it's not. Like, MP reduction, right? See? It's crazy. Just completely different for everybody. Now, I wonder if that's based on their gear, because some, some units just don't have any gear at all. So it might, it might also be because of that, but I'm not 100% positive on that one either. No, grades don't matter. Just go all the way across. Because remember, you can you can unequip the grades later on, right? So the beauty here is you want to do the entire thing, completely open up the entire thing, and then you can you can replace the older grades when you get newer ones. For now, your goal is to completely open it up from top to bottom. Okay, top to bottom, make sure you open it up. Uh, for those asking about units that are not out yet, I have no idea. We don't have any data on them, right? So no clue how the other new units are going to look. Let's go with more crit damage. Now hold on. Before I go any further, I do want to see something. So let me go back to Sung. Let's see his crit damage now. 176.77. Remember that. 176.77, okay? You guys remember that. I'm going to see what happens with the gem system once you upgrade it. If it actually shows in the stats or not. So 176.77 is what we said, right? Yeah, let's let this open up. Come on, close. So it is bugged. You guys have to go in and out every time. All right, let's see if, the, if it actually shows an extra 65. So what does 65 do? 176.77. Does that actually make a difference for him? Yep, it did. So there you guys go. It does affect your stats right away. So you guys can see the stats instantly. All right, so 177.12. So it does. So it's an, it's an instant, you can see it right away the effects, which is good. So that means everyone across the board is gonna get powered up with doing this gem system. So it is guys imperative that you do actually focus on this. It's a pretty big deal. Uh, HP percent, actually you know what? Probably raw HP is better for here. Go. Another red one in here. Attack one versus attack two. We'll do attack two. See, we're almost done. So again, you gotta make sure you have enough for everything. I need two more to finish this one up, and then three more to finish this one, and we have more than enough to do that, which is great. So that's that's the first thing, guys. Make sure if you are doing this, you 110% finish up everything, okay? Don't, uh, don't start fusing right away and gimping yourself. It'll definitely cause problems in the end. Because you won't be able to finish it. You'd rather take advantage of the extra stats, especially because this is, again, going to push your, your combat power past a lot of the red marks that you're struggling with, which means your stats will be all intact. You're not going to have that penalty. And this is going to be probably your biggest impact for your leveling for quite some time. So there we go. And we're almost done. Now, at this point, because we have one more left per slot, we can now go back one. There we go. Let's go back and go back in. And now we can actually start fusing after we're done. So once you've completed this whole set, then fusing becomes optional, okay? So I'm gonna just put the crappier stuff in for now. Things that don't really matter that much. I mean, this one I don't really have a choice. Uh, let's put in attack percentage. There you go. So one more and we've now completed the entire thing. So we've opened up the entire board 
that's it. This is the entire board opened up. Okay, so now you can see exactly what you've put into where. So this is the stats now that affect all of your characters. Okay, so everybody has this extra percentage now added to their total combat power. So very, very important guys to do this, okay? Do not, do not fuse right away. So now that we've done that though, now you can go to fusing and now you can actually go ahead and fuse your gems. At this point, you're safe to do it because now you've unlocked the entire board and that board now is available for you to fuse. So if I go ahead and fuse this, for example, right? So I got a green there, a few, a few of these blues. There we go, got a few of them there. And then all your whites. At this point, you're good to fuse. Let's do a few more here. Okay, max these out. Nothing good there. One more. Another white. So there you guys go. So that is essentially going to be end game. Fusing and, and hunting for these is going to be pretty much it. Okay, does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have any questions regarding the fuse system? If not, that's pretty much it. Okay, we'll do more deep, deep diving of the fuse system, or sorry, of the, of the gem system as we go through the game a little bit more. But for now, that's essentially it, okay? That's how you want to handle this. Do not fuse before you fill up your board, for the love of God, okay? Uh, how do I have so many? It's from the bond system. The bond system gave a lot. And there's actually more, I just haven't gone through it all. So the bond system is going to be your best place to collect them because every character gives you guys some of them, like for example, right here. And if you have some SSRs, they'll also give you some. So the bond system is a great place to get them. Another place to get them is going to be right here in the Battlefield of Chaos. You get three a day that you can do. Obviously choose the one you want to do in terms of what color you're looking for. And then also I believe we got some from the shop as well. So that's essentially where all that came from. I think there's also probably going to be a few I'd imagine in here somewhere, but I haven't had a chance to go look at it. Let's, uh, let's jump in here for one second. All right, guys, that's the gem system right there. So that's it. Uh, again, more deep diving into which gems are better, etc. once I get a chance to do it. So yeah, fuse after you filled up the entire board. That is key. That is the key thing to take away from all this. All right?